As the three-point shot continues to grow in popularity, with players like Dame and Curry dominating the game with their deadly range, modern offenses are emphasizing spacing and the importance of taking the most efficient shot. In the era of stats, people forget how deadly and useful the mid-range still is. With a focus on pace and space, defenses are adjusting to give up the least efficient shot, opting to play the percentages. But the best of the best are able to score at all three levels and excel at what the defense gives them. With defenses opting to play more drop coverage to contain ball handlers and to protect the rim, the short jumper is what they're willing to give up, thinking it's going to be the least efficient shot. For example, Kyrie comes off the screen and sees the big in a higher drop. With none of his teammates in a position to make a play or receive a pass, he sees space to snake into a jumper. Right here, CP3 sees Vooch in a slight drop to contain his drive and allow DeRozan to get back to his man. Again, his teammates aren't in a position to make a play, so he snakes into space instead and hits the jumper. Because the drop is designed for the big to zone up the paint and to force the ball handler into taking the long two, or give time for the defender to get back into the play, the midi is sometimes the best and only shot to take coming off ball screens. When playing in isolation, you can't always get to the rim or draw help to kick to a teammate. You gotta be able to create your own shot, and likely, it's gonna be a contested too. When you're forced to play one-on-one, -on -one, sometimes you gotta create space and make tough shots. With the shot clock running down, and with the paint clogged and help staying home, it's these tough mid-range shots that win games. Learning that mid-range comes with mastering the footwork along with it. The first is the one-two or speed stop into the shot. When dribbling to the left, you want your last two steps to end in a right left. The opposite is the same for dribbling to the right, where your last two steps should be a left right. The pickup for the shot should be relatively late and ideally time with your last step so you can smoothly rise into your shot. For example, right here, Kobe picks up the ball into his shot pocket as he takes his last step. Again, MJ picks up the ball to shoot as his last step comes forward to drive into his shot. With the 1-2 being the more traditional and popular footwork, it's mostly used when you want to get into space and get your shot off quickly. A lot of these shots happen when you get downhill, putting the defender in a tough spot, not knowing when you're going to stop. For example, you see Melo blow by Pierce, so he's caught recovering. So Melo just stops on the dime and pulls up. Right here, Kyrie gets a step on Simons, causing him to ride his hip, but Kyrie stops fast, causing Simons to have a late contest. These late contests tend to occur when you get a step on your defender, causing them to react late when you stop quickly. A variation is taking shorter steps into the 1-2. It's more effective when you're left with not as much space to work with, forcing you to dribble where you can to get your shot off. Right here, Melo creates a shot with a short and quick 1-2, even though he's left with not much space in the corner. The key here is to make these steps short and quick to get your shot off in tight spaces or to catch your defender off guard. The 1-2 can also be extended when you have room to operate and want to get into more space. The traditional footwork of the 1-2 can be switched up by inverting your last two steps. For example, if you were to go left, you would end in a left-right instead of a right-left. This is most used with hang hesitations into shots. Lastly, the hop is another way of getting into your shot. Although not as popular as the 1-2, it's still a useful footwork to use. Using a hop is great when you want to get under control or you want to slow down and absorb contact. All this just shows that there isn't one specific footwork used when shooting these shots. Having the ability to be adaptable and do all is what makes you good. Shooting a mid-range shot is going to be different than shooting a 3. To offset the closer distance of the shot, you have to jump higher 
and release the ball at the apex or even on the way down on your jump to avoid the contested defenders, making this a two motion shot. For example, Booker elevates high with the ball slightly on his right side to avoid the defender and releases it above his head at the top of his jump. Right here, Melo elevates high and releases the ball above his head and at the apex of his jump. Because the game is sometimes chaotic, you won't always have a perfect release or a gather. Chris Paul is really good at shooting drifting to his right. Because he shoots over players a foot taller than him, he gathers on his right side to avoid getting blocked and he's able to elevate high to get over the top. Being able to shoot out of any position is key because you won't need to be squared to shoot or have that optimal shot pocket. Mastering the foundation with traditional footworks like the hop and the 1-2, the best are able to use space creating moves in combination with different footworks and gathers to get their own shot. Right here, we see Kobe use a left to right cross, and because he's going to the right, he uses the same left right step to finish the shot. The same is true here as well. Kobe gets Safalosha shaking with the jab, and finally rocks him with the cross to his left, finishing with the right left step. Using a pump fake to let the defender fly by, or draw contact is used often. The key here is to make sure you load up with your legs and shot pocket, and use your eyes to make sure your defender bites on the fake. Right here, Booker loads up with his legs and shows the ball to get his man flying. You can use the pump fake to lean in and draw fouls or get an and one. Having the ability to be composed to keep your pivot foot down even when you pick up your dribble and still get into position to rise up and shoot is a key skill these guys have. Or you can use your pivot to spin into a shot. Not only is this about knowing how to pivot, but to be calm enough to adapt in a tough spot and be creative is key. Step backs and drags are all space creating moves that are used to get into a midi. This goes back to isolation being a lot of mid-range shots. When help is staying home, you have to get your own shot by having these moves in your bag. Lastly, having a post game helps a lot when faced with smaller or peskier defenders. You have to be smart by using your strength and body to protect the ball and get to your spot. This allows you to easily rise up over your man. In today's game where pros and kids are focusing more on the three-pointer, the mid-range shot and its skills are still needed. Whether it be in isolation or off the catch, mastering the footwork and having the moves to go with it will make any player a more versatile score. Hope you learned something and can implement these tips into your game. I'll see you in the next one.